Hey, I'm Lauren from tastypc.tv. Today I'm going to be doing part one of my new Arc Mini water cooling project. So in this video I thought I'd cover my um, plan for the rig and the parts that I'm going to be using. Now all of the water cooling parts that I'm using have been supplied by Aquatuning, so a big thank you to them, um, and I've put the link to them in the description below. So I thought I'd start by some of my water cooling background, um, and I have to admit I am quite new to this. I've only ever water cooled one computer before, and it was an 800D. Um, I used a 360mm radiator, thicker tubes, big fittings. And I generally had a lot of room to manoeuvre, um, and I know in this case it will be much more difficult, and I may make mistakes, and the plan might change. But the main reason why I want to do this project is because um, I know there's a lot of people out there who aren't very, are quite new to water cooling like I am, um, and there's some even people out there who've never tried it before because they thought it was too difficult to do. And I know that all of the people out there who make videos on water cooling are all pros at it. So I thought it would be really good if my viewers saw someone who isn't as experienced in water cooling like I am being able to do this because, you know, if she can do it, then I can do it kind of thing. So what I'm going to do now is bring the camera over, show you around the case and talk you through my plan. So hopefully you can see the Arc Mini and the parts that I'm going to bring in front of it. My camera does have trouble focusing on more than one thing at once. So as I'm quite new to this, I'm only going to be doing a simple CPU loop for now. So the radiator I'm going to be using is Alpha Cool's Nexus 240mm SD30 full copper radiator. Um, it's 30mm thick. I plan to have it where the H100 is now, with the fittings to the left. It should fit, I might have to get rid of this fan though. Although I might have to have it this way around, but like I said the plan might change. So this radiator is matte black, although some of the copper um, does show to help with heat transfer. Don't know if you can see it. So I'm not actually sure what fans I'm going to be using yet, although once I've done this project I will be doing a H100 versus custom water cooling comparison video. So the, the reservoir I'm going to be using is Alpha Cools Dual DCLT Single Bay Res. Um, it can fit two of Alpha Cools tiny DCLT pumps in the back. To fit one of the pumps, you've just got this little rubber seal you put around it, and then you fit the pump to the back like that. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to be using one or two pumps yet. Obviously using two pumps increases the performance, but it also makes it louder. Um, so I'm going to wait to see how they sound before making my decision. And I'm going to have this fitted into the bottom bay to, so it's easy to get to. So for the CPU block, I'm going to be using Phobia's new UC1 water cooling block. Now I have already done an overview on this, if you want to have a good look around it. I'll put the link to that in the description below. So I'm also going to be using a selection of Alpha Cools 1310 90 degree and 45 degree angle fittings. Now I do prefer compression fittings, um, I think they look better and I just prefer to use them. So for tubing I'm going to be using Master Clears Clear Flexible Tubing and I'm also going to be using Phobia's Super Zero UV Red Coolant. Now I don't plan to use UV lights so it won't be the deep red it should be but I don't mind this pinkish tinge. Um, so that's all the parts I'm going to be using. So the plan is, is like I said, to have the radiator here and to get a 90 degree angle so the tube goes straight back and behind the radiator straight into the reservoir so hopefully most of this tube should be hidden then a tube going straight from the reservoir to the CPU block and straight from the CPU block to the radiator um, so it should look hopefully quite tidy and simple um, and look quite good now I'm not sure which way I'm going to have the flow going yet um, just depends which way I think it looks better but yeah that's the basic plan in my Phobia UC1 overview video, I mentioned there was a chance to win one of these CPU blocks. So the winner has now been announced on Tasty PC's Facebook page. So congratulations! So this is part one of what I'd like to call Project Run. Um, it's not the best name, but it just popped into my head and I like it. So my plan is, after the initial loop, I might expand on it some more, maybe get my new Dremel out. Um, you just have to wait and see, I guess. But that's one of the things that I love about water calling, is that you can always expand on it. So once again, a big thank you to AquaTuning, um, and if you've got any comments about Project Run, I'd love to hear them. So if you like the video, hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe, and thanks for watching.